Well, how are we doing out there? I hope you're all absolutely spot on. And thank you very much for watching this video now. I've been shopping. I've been to Iceland. Come and have a look where I've bought. So these are new TGI Fridays cheeseburger spring rolls. So you get six pieces exclusive to Iceland coming in at 345 grams. So I had a few comments to say get these. So I got them. And they were four pounds, four quid. It's quite dear, isn't it? The old TGI Fridays um, range. I think it's a little bit expensive. Just pricing, the prices are just going up, aren't they, in Iceland, I've noticed. And, that, and that's in the last six months. So let's get them open and see what we've got. So let's have a look at these. Just, oh, I'm butchering it. I'm butchering it. I always butcher it. Oh, there we go. So, ah, so that is them, look. This is that. Let me get a better bit of light for you. There we go. And also, you get a sauce as well. Uh, you get burger sauce as well with it. So, I didn't know you get the sauce with it, because looking at that, the sauce is, the cheese sauce is inside the the spring rolls, but it doesn't show you a pot of sauce, does it? I wonder if that's how, there it is, there, look. I'll put my goggles on. I'll put, me, I'll put my specs on. Right, let's have a look at the butchered box. I've just butchered it. So there it says there, um, cheeseburger spring rolls, cooked beef burger, patty topped with processed cheese, and pickled gherkin wrapped in pastry um, and pre-fried uh, with a burger, a burger dip. Ah, it's a dip with sugar and sweetness. So oh, it's going to be fatty, this, isn't it? There's the nutritional information if you want to have a look at that. Per 100, oven baked, 333 calories. Wow, they are. And they are all the ingredients. Look at all them ingredients there. So it's got cheeseburger, spring roll, 78%. Um, cooked beef, burger, beef, uh, is that 75%? When I watch this back, I'll be able to see them more clearly. So that is them, look at these. Let's have a look at the cooking instructions. So you do them in the oven, and I'm not going to do them in the oven, but if you want to do them in the oven, you can do them in the oven on fan 180. Remove from all packaging. Oh, that's out of focus. There we go. Placed unopened sauce sachet in bowl of hot water. Place on a baking tray. Preheat oven for five minutes. Cook in the middle of the oven. Six minutes into, into cooking time. Turn over another six minutes. So 12 minutes all in all. So I'm not going to do them in the oven. I'm going to do them in the, in the air fryer. Look at this. So I'm going to do them in the air fryer. I'm going to stick them down there and I'm going to do them on... Um, I don't know what to do, Mon. Air crisp or bake? We'll have a look. We'll have a little think. We'll have a little think. So let's get them out. Let's get them open. So let's get into these. That cheese sauce looks like the cheese sauce I had um, on me. Uh, I had some dirty fries I got from uh, Iceland yesterday. Check that video out. They're quite nice as well. The sauce was quite nice. So there we are. This is them. This is that. Let me get a bit of better light for you. There we go. Look at that. So it's got looks like there's a cheese sauce inside, doesn't it, as well? Oh, well, these have got to be good, haven't they? They've got to be tasty, these surely. They must be. Spring rolls, burgers, cheese. Oh, I'm gonna have um well, do I have all six or what? I'll have three. I'll have three. It's gonna be a snack this. I'll keep them three for my the rest of the clan. So what I've done, I'm just boiling the kettle now and I've just put some cold water in the bottom of there, basically, and that's gonna just gonna go in there. I'm gonna fill that up with water and just warm that up. So let's get these in the air fryer. One hand, one hander. <laughs> so there we go, I'll, eat, I'll place them out evenly, there we go. So let's get this down. This is amazing, this air fryer. If you've not got one, 
loads of people saying, get an air fryer. Oh, I'll tell you what, the oven doesn't hardly go on now. Um, so uh, let's have a look, uh, a bacon roast. Um, I, th I think, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to try this one. So I'm going to set the temperature. Someone said in the comments, set it about 10 degrees, what it says on the oven. So I am, and also half the time. So I'm going to do it at one, 170. Uh, I'm going to do it for... I'm going to start off with six minutes and I'm going to turn them over. I'll do five minutes and then turn them over. So that's how I might do the second half on air crisp just to finish off. See what that's like. So if you like this kind of content, I do all food reviews and do all sorts really. Um, just going to try and do a bit of cooking. Um, and you know, if you see any new food out there, you know, leave a message in the comments and I'll, I'll get back to you. And, that's just, you know, as quick as I can. I always try and like to answer every single comment because it's it's just nice to be heard, isn't it? Um, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, and if you've not subscribed, then hit that subscribe button and the bell icon and then you won't miss any of my videos. So, let's have a look at these. There we go. I'll bring you back. I'll bring you back in the second half. So, I've done them for... Um, I can't remember how long I put them on for now. I'm just, just turning them over now. I'm going to get them with my hands there. Oh yeah, get them with my hands. I thought they'd be hotter than that. So there we are. There, that is them. So I'm going to set it off again. So it says it's off, but I don't I don't want it off. I want it on. So let's have a look. Um, so if we go air crisp this time, I'm going to go air crisp. Um, temp. Now let's let's say two hundred. I don't want it two hundred. I'm gonna go with one eighty, um, and then I'm gonna go with five minutes. See what that's like. So I'll bring it back in five. So they're done. This is them. There's my sauce. Have a look at them. I did them for I did them in the air fryer in the end. I did them for like about eight minutes as opposed to twelve in the um, in the oven. Um, and we got we got a we got a little uh, a little popper a little squirter. One of the one of them bust and all the cheese went everywhere. <laughs> so let's have a look. There's the sauce as well. Look, that is the sauce. So let's uh, let's let's get one cut open anyway. The red the red hot white. They have cooled down a little bit now. So let's see what we've got inside. So there we go. Let me get a bit of better light for you. That is that. Totally. Another grey day. It's, it's not been raining, but I think it's, the potential is imminent. So let's try this. Let's try this first before I get it in there. So the pre-cooked out there, you just warm them up, don't you? Go on, let me get another, let me try a bit more. Go on, let's try and dip it in the sauce, see if that makes a difference. First impressions of that bite, I didn't like it. Mm. I'm not keen on them, to be honest. Let's try these others. Let's try these others. I know I got a comment saying it's you can always tell the first the first taste, the first bite, whether you like it or not. And um, I think you're right on that one. Well, ah! A gherkin.
I don't like them. <laughs> I'll be honest. They're not for me, these. They're not for me at all. They just don't taste particularly good, to be honest. They just don't taste right. Not for me then, to be honest, not for me at all. There's just no flavour in them, I'll be honest. I mean, the meat's just a bit tasteless. Um, the actual roll itself is nice and crisp, but it's just, it's all very confused. A bit like myself, very confused. I think um, cheeseburgers need to be in a bun with cheese and not in a spring roll. And if you do do them in a spring roll, make sure that the meat's tasty, because it's not tasty. It's not tasty, and don't put that gherkin in either. <laughs> and that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't do them all. And that's the box look. Yeah, they're not, they're not very good. No. It's a shame that, isn't it? Um, yeah, spring rolls have got to be just like what you get when you go to a Chinese restaurant or a takeaway. Now them spring rolls are lovely. To me, these don't, these don't, they don't, they don't work. They don't work at all. I mean, could you sort of lever, could you put them in like a hot dog bun and stick a load of, you know, onions over the top of that on, in a hot dog bun? That might work with the onions, you know, and, and, but it's just not for me. It's not for me. I won't buy these again. No, I won't buy them again. And they're a, they're a, they're a six, six out of ten. Six out of ten. So thank you very much for watching. Take care. All the best. And I'll catch you on the next one.